this one is powered by Ryzen 950 900HX mobile processor with integrated Radeon graphics. It has 8 CPU cores, 16 threads and 8 GPU cores. It running a base clock of 3.3 GHz and up to 4.6 GHz. The integrated Radeon graphics is clocked at 2100 MHz. I ordered a barebone version unit during its pre-sale. Here is the pricing of the various GTR5 configurations. It starts from 799 US dollars for the 32 GB RAM and 512 GB 10 VME SSD version and 999 US dollars for the 64 GB RAM and 1 TB NVMe SSD version. You can even add M2 2280 SATA up to 2 terabytes with 2.5 inch drive to expand upon that capacity. Once you open up the box you'll find the owner's manual and the unit itself which is sandwiched between two foam casings. Inside the box, you'll find a long HDMI cable, a short HDMI cable, some screws for a 2.5 inch hard drive, 90 watt power supply and that mounting bracket. has a power button, clear CMOS button, a USB 3.0 port, a USB Type-C 3.1 port, an audio line out and two inbuilt microphones. Elsewhere at the rear there is DC input port, two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, one HDMI 2.0 port, one DP 1.4 port, two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports.
Although the GT Bar 5 is a mini PC it isn't the smallest available but nevertheless, it is still quite compact measuring 16.8 by 12 by 3.9 centimeters. And also more importantly it has a fingerprint reader for fast and secure login. Once you open up the back cover you'll find a tray for the 2.5 inch drives and sitting with the back cover. Beware of the thin IO strip attached to the board, and not pull so hard that you may break it. In terms of RAM, the two so dim slots support up to a maximum of 64 GB of DDR4 3200 MHz memory. For storage, it can accommodate two M2 2280 SSD card slots. One of the M2 SSD card slots is PCIe 3.04x bus. It supports NVMe SSD protocol and can reach a speed of up to 2 gigabytes per second. And the other M2 SSD card slot is SATA 3. The maximum speed can reach 500 megabytes per second and also 2.5 inch setup hard disk driver SSD. Its connectivity features Wi-Fi 6C and Bluetooth 5.2 along with a dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. Despite being a mini PC this GT Bar 5 can support up to 3 4K 60Hz displays, one from the HDMI 2.0 one from the DP 1.4 and one USB-C 3.1. can install the so dims. The next step is simply to install the NVMe SSD, SATA SSD.
then you can install the 2.5 inch SSD on the back cover. Once this is done just screw on the back cover and that's it. The assembly process is completed overall very easy to DIY. After installing Windows just run all the necessary updates and you will also want to download the drivers and support. Files for this 5900HX processor and the GTR5 itself, so that your system and especially the graphics can perform the way it should. I'll leave the links to these files in the video description below. everyone and I hope you enjoyed watching my video of this, please remember to subscribe to my channel. In the next video, we will check benchmarking of this GTR5, see you in the next video.